I want to thank you for the questions you sent in um, in regards to the copyright law. First of all, my name is Chiaga Hillary Innocent, also known as Dr. Hilderman. I'm a member of parliament, Maokotano. Um, my president, Robert Chagulani Sentamu, also known as Bobby Wine, assigned me the role of being a shadow minister for arts and culture. And uh, it is in that regard that he, together with the party and the shadow cabinet, assigned me the role of working on the amendment of the 2006 copyright law. So I was granted leave um, uh, last year, 2022, to work on the prior, uh, on the amendment of the copyright law. When I was granted leave, government with its appetite was like we were working on the same so i told them okay if you were working on the same what would you love me to do they were like we wanted to cover to collaborate with you such that we come up with a holistic approach uh on the copyright law i was like it is okay our part is not after the showbiz but it is after making sure that the creatives have a holistic uh, bill that is going to address all their challenges. So we began on this. Uh, I met a body that is called the Uganda Law Reform Commission that the government assigned me. Um, we came up with a task force that is going to spearhead this. Uh, after the formulation of the task force, we began looking at the key aspects. One, the key aspects that we began with, uh, began with my proposals as I had uh, proposed in my in my proposal to, to seek for leave. So we have been moving on well and uh, consultations are ongoing. So anytime we expect by the end of this year the, to, uh, the, the bill will be amended and we shall be ready with at least what we call a holistic uh, a holistically thought bill um of course there have been challenges but i don't need to go into challenges because uh i i, I believe in solutions when one selected a leader uh people don't expect you to be nagging them with challenges challenges all the time we have to keep focused and the only things that uh, i majorly concentrate on are what we need to achieve in this bill um, there are basics, of course the bill is broad, but there are basics that we think must be a part of this bill. For example, we must address the technological advancements and its needs and how artists must benefit from this technological advancement because the 2006 bill never uh, addressed these issues and now that technology has taken over, uh you find that uh the analog the analog bill the 2006 mainly concentrated on the analog and uh, we, we we think the amendment is going to rectify and address the technological advancements and how people can benefit from the technological advancement because that's where money is now it's the new gold uh also the body you find that the, 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 the implementation of the 2006 has failed just because the body, the URSB, that was uh, mandated to, 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 to take on this responsibility, it has not done the work as required. And we have been interrogating if it has the capacity to do it. And we found out that it, it lacks the, man, uh, the, the capacity to carry uh, a smart work to, 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 that, that, that the creatives de desire because it is too congested with a lot of assignments. For example, it is the one to allocate death certificates, it's the one to allocate marriage certificates, it's the one to work on the people getting married, it is the one to work on re registering companies. So it is too congested and it doesn't want to release these assignments to other entities that can really give us what we really need. So we think any 
copyright act to operate and to act accordingly other bodies other countries have put up bodies independent bodies to entirely and solidly work on uh, copyright law so we are advocating for a body to do that then there have been um, they have been collecting bodies like bodies like uh, UPRS they are uh, in the 2006 you find that it is the only only recognized uh, s uh, uh, body that can collect money on behalf of the artists so we find it very challenging and it has not uh, really benefited an artist because they they, they use the mono, uh, monopolistic uh, the monopolistic strategy to suffocate and to exploit this creative artist so we want to give room for other uh, for other upcoming and uh, for other collecting bodies to come up we want to open up market for competition so uh, that is also another aspect then when we come we go to the telecom companies there is that aspect of telecom companies cheating from using uh, from using uh, people's uh, uh, creatives and then paying them a penny so we are like we want to define we want to streamline and come up with a percentage we want revenue share to be well prescribed in this upcoming law for example other countries like nigeria 52 to artists and the remaining goes to the government and the telecom company same to kenya so for us we want to propose like 60 for an artist and then the 40 be divided by the government and the telecom companies and of course the penalties the penalties uh to 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 culprits who indulge in copyright uh, uh, infringement we think we need to 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 to, to put up strict and tight uh, regulations in that regard the penalties are too uh, are too narrow the they can really attract more infringement so we want to tighten the the, the penalties then we have the copyright uh, the private uh, the copyright the private copyright uh, copyright levy uh, we have like gadgets where information can be easily transferred for example computers uh, laptops uh, we have gadgets like uh, the phones we feel there has to be a, a certain levy onto those gadgets which levy when collected goes to the private levy fund where an artist uh, can access it um, we are coming up with the mechanism of how we can share such revenue but it is one of the things that we are advocating for uh, to introduce uh, and of course there has been uh, a tendency of people thinking that this is for the established artists uh, so the law will, will, will affect the, 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 the innovations the upcoming artists actually if we don't have copyright law it is hindering investment because people are not sure of when they invest their money in the creative world how they're going to track it back to get it back so the revenue on, i mean the, the the returns on investment is untrackable as we talk and this uh hinders investment many people who would love to invest in the creative world cannot do it because they can't track their returns they can't track their money so once we have this law at least it's one of the governing governing tools that can help to attract uh, investment and revenue. Another thing on behalf of the government, we are trying to widen the tax base. You find that creative world globally is the new gold. You know, content is the new gold and our government has not thought about it. So we are in a proposal to introduce another avenue where government can invest and expect returns in a very good, uh, a good and accommodative way. So, that's as per the corporate law, as we talk, many things are still going on, but so far we are moving on well. I want to thank my government, the National Unity Platform, my president, uh, my shadow cabinet, for the 
trust you've given me. Hilda Doctor, Dr. Hilderman. Thank you.